Alrighty then, here we go into new computer animation tutorial and what we're going to go over today is how to add a sound into a WIC editor animation. And so the uh, project we're going to be working on is the doodle animation where we added arms and eyes to a inanimate object, just a picture from the web that we kind of brought to life with a little bit of stick figure animation. So I'm going to add in the sound effect of him saying wow when his mouth opens. So I'm just going to add in a new layer here. Uh, layer 5 will then be my sound layer. So I'll title that layer sound. Anytime you bring in sound, you're going to want it to be on its own layer so you can see that file or the WAV file there in your project. And I expanded that frame so it would be the length of my project. So again, like I said, so I can see it in there. And I can shorten it later if I need it to be shorter. Um, what we we'll want to use for uh, uploading a or downloading rather a sound effect is zapsplat.com. And so zapsplat is one of many uh, websites you can download free sound effects and royalty free music. Another one I like to use sometimes is freesound.org. But what you'll have to do in order to uh, look for or to, uh, to download sounds is you'll have to register and create an account. So you can search through uh, what they have here and you can with many other sites too. Search with what they have, wow. play and see what you want, but once you go to click to download it will ask you to sign up. So it's a free account so you just have to create a free account with a username uh, or email and a password. And so I'm just going to go ahead and enter in my info here and log in in order to download that sound. So i got to get back to the search bar here. So I'm just going to click on home. And I'm just looking for the wow sound effect that I had called up there before. I'll click on MP3 to download an MP3. And once I see it pop up down here, I know it's good to go. And I'll jump back to Wick Editor. Here I want to upload this as an asset, same way as how we got a photo into Wick Editor. I'll click over to my downloads folder and find the sound file and then click open. All right, so it tells me it's imported successfully. And all I need to do now is just click and drag this sound file over the timeline on my WIC editor project. And now the sound is in there. So if I hit test play, wow. you'll see that that animation plays with the sound. Um, you may notice that when you let it loop that your sound effect doesn't repeat, wow. but that's really okay. It's just kind of uh, a glitch that sort of occurs when you preview playing. But once we export it, it will always have the sound playing. So once we're finished, you should always get in the habit of saving uh, files so you can have a WIC file to open back up in case you want to edit it further. Um, but once we're finished, we'll click export and we want to choose export video. And I'm going to change the name of this one to be Doodle Cookie Wow. And we'll want to choose video so that it has sound, right? If we do a GIF, it will not have sound. So export video, and that should do it for this little animation tutorial. As soon as this is finished, I can click on this file to see the MP4 wow. and play my animation with the sound. So make sure you submit your assignment on Google Classroom, and I hope you guys have fun getting creative with your own projects.